if you ever have um, HVAC, HVAC, uh, tumble dryer, you have to understand the HVAC works with refrigerant. So you have two heat exchangers. This heat exchanger works very cold and this heat exchanger is heating up. So the air is going through the clothing, very warm. The water vaporizes, so the very humid air is dragged by this fan, forced through this filter, as you see this filter, to this heat exchanger. This is very cold. Uh, the air loses the moisture because the water condenses in this tray. And then it continues its journey, it's reheated and it's very warm and dry and it comes back and pick up again the humidity from the clothing. The water from the tray, it is removed by this pump and it's sent up into the water tank. We have a water tank here. This is the water tank. It's here. And uh, I open my tumble dryer and I'm very confident because I'm a refrigeration engineer. Uh, it's the other way around, but this is refrigerant 1348. I put the bottle because uh, I want to bomb charge it. So now I put the system on vacuum. See? I try to achieve 100... Uh, 50 microns. I had to brace this pipe because uh, I had a refrigerant leak and uh, the dryer lost the property. But that was my mistake because first I opened this dryer and I cleaned these filters. Many people chuck this in a bin. You don't have access to this filter because they bastards, whoever designed this. You have to open the dryer to clean it. This is a filter which protects the heat exchanger because this is just the heat exchanger it's running very cold and it removes the water from the air many people chuck this in a bin but there is nothing wrong with them you only have to open the cap to do the maintenance and to put it back unless you want to pay extra 400 pounds to buy a new one but technicians are bastards they never tell you the truth so you have the fan which circulate the air you have the heat exchangers you have the compressor, you have the filter, the hydrator, and the capacitors. You don't have to know all these things, how they work. You only have to understand one thing. It's not very hard to repair this one. If you have a friend in a family which is specialist in refrigeration and you know how to braze uh, aluminum. And by the way, I was a little bit worried about aluminum, but I bought an aluminum brazing rod and it's a cold braze it's about 300 degrees celsius with a little bit of training you can braze aluminum so see how simple it is and then you're going to put it back it's not a big deal if technician will be honest they will waste probably a day and a day will be quite expensive for you but if you have a friend in refrigeration and it's a bit open-minded you can fix this problem, simple.